ang script naman pareho ito yung pinakain sa kanilang script pareho and yun yung supposedly may drug trading sa loob ng uh, National Bilibid Prison na totoo naman kaya naman natin alaman na may uh, drug trading sa National Bilibid Prison is because Laila Diliman herself led the biggest um, raid of the National Bilibid Prison uh, kaya natin alaman na may mga kubol doon kasi yung pinakamalaking raid sa history natin ni lead ni Laila Dilima, di ba? So, ang ginawa nila ay ginamit nilang lahat iyan at sinabi yung drug trading daw na, na, na gagadap ay dahil gustong suportahan yung um, campaign ni Laila Dilima. No? So, ang essence, essence ng testimonies nila would be may drug trading sa loob ng Bilibid. Hindi sila drug trader, pero si Laila Dilima ang drug queen. Parang ganyan yan eh. Mm. Uh, pero may isang, pag umami naman sila na drug trader sila, kakasuhan namin ng drug trading Ayun naman kasuhan ng Department of Justice. Um, so, yun yung nangyari doon eh. No? So, sabi, sabi nila, paano? Drug trader ka ba o hindi? Pag tinanong namin sa cross-examination, hindi po ako drug trader. Drug trader. Eh, paano, ka, paano mo na sabing binigay mo yung pera kay Lionel Dilima? Sino nang drug trade dito kung hindi ikaw? Hmm. <laughs> isa kayo nila umamin. Kasi alam mo, papahabak sila. May isa lang umamin dyan sa kasong yan. Um, doon kayo nasuhan namin, eh, ayun naman kasuhan ng Department of Justice. Hmm. Mm, mm. uh, uh, well, sir, of course we're not lawyers, no. Pero uh, uh, so, how do you proceed from there? I mean, uh, <laughs> Tanga, alam mo, Ed, um, right from the very start, itong kaso na ito shouldn't have reached this far. Um, alam mo yon. Ik- ikaw ba, Ed, puha tayo ng um, convicted criminal of a crime involving moral turpitude sa loob ng bilibid. Gawang kaya kita ng kwento. At gawa natin ng kwento lahat ng mga executives yun dyan sa inyong channel, di ba? Tapos sasabihin na lang nila, gawa-gawa lamang laway ang puhunan. Totoo lahat yun, paniniwalaan natin. Hook, line, and sinker. Ganun ang nangyayari sa kasong ito. And it shouldn't have reached this far precisely because if you will evaluate the testimonies of these um, individuals right from the very start, their credibility has already been tainted. Hindi mm-hmm. yan takot map sa perjury. Hindi yan takot pag sinungaling sa witness na. Bakit? Eh, nakakulong na eh. Nakakulong na. Perjury. Ano namang incentive niya? To disincentive niya kasi matatakot siya makulong. Eh, nakakulong na eh. At right from the very start, tandaan natin ha, sila, um, yung mga ibang uh, mga uh, drug uh, drug lords dyan, yung mga convicted fellows na yan, like sila Peter Ko, two days or three days before, pinag-testify yan sa House of Representatives, pinagsasaksak yan ha, yung kutsilyo nag pierce pa dun sa lungs niya. So apart from the fact na nakakulong, hindi ba evidence of duress yun? Physical duress that their lives are under threat if they will not do the bidding of those people who uh, who has custody of them. Kasi this is uh, the executive, ang allegation dito, political persecution to perpetrated by the executive, perpetrated by the state, tapos nasa custody sila ng state, tapos pinor sila mag-testify, sinaksak muna sila, tapos gumawa ng kwento, tapos pinaniwalaan nating lahat, di ba? I mean, uh, it, what kind of precedent are we setting for this particular case? Which is why we intend to question no, the, the order and we, we we intend to move for reconsideration. Yung tanong naman namin, tanong yan ang sabay ng Pilipino, bakit natin paniniwalaan bigla yung mga convicted criminals of, a, of crimes involving moral turpitude as if they're very honest individuals who have good reputation in our society, di ba? Um, so the prosecution is um, set to present um, there are other pieces of evidence outside of bail, no? Uh, so, meron pa yung four settings, if I'm not mistaken. And then, we will exercise the remedies available to us um, bago mag-proceed sa um, evidence-in-chief ni Laila de Lima. So, hopefully, um, matapos na ito sa lalong madaling panahon, no? Ito na yung pinakamahaabang at magastos na kasinungalingan sa Pilipinas, eh. So, gusto-gusto na rin namin matapos ito sa lalong madaling panahon.